since its starting, Paramore has seen some highs and lows, lineup changes and falling outs. The band has been in the music business since 2005, making catchy pop rock songs like Misery Business, Still Into You and Ain't It Fun. In this video, we are going to talk about Paramore's Hayley Williams and her ex-bandmate Josh Farrow's relationship. Stay tuned to know more. Hayley Williams and Josh Farrow were the founding members of Paramore. Their bond started as childhood friends who bonded over their love of music. They were both teenagers when they formed the band and became the heart and soul of Paramore. Their relationship went beyond just being bandmates and they also became romantically linked with each other. Their chemistry was quite real but their relationship was filled with challenges. There were some moments when their personal issues came into their professional lives and created some tension within the band. In 2009, Josh Farrow and his brother Zach, who was also a member of Paramore, left the band amid rumors of creative differences with Williams and the rest of the band. The year after the release of their 2009 album Brand New Eyes, Paramore revealed in a since-deleted blog post on their official site that Josh and Zach Farrow were leaving the band. Hayley Williams, Jeremy Davis, and Taylor York had already expected this departure. The statement said, None of us were really shocked. For the last year, it hasn't appeared as if they wanted to be around anymore. We want Josh and Zach to do something that makes them happy and if that does not exist here with us, then we support them finding happiness elsewhere. We hope that fans can be encouraged by the fact that the three of us who are still here are ready to take on another chapter of our journey together. We want to stick by you. Knowing that we have a unified passion and a clear vision makes us feel stronger than ever. After the official statement about the siblings' departure was released, Josh Farrow fired back with a harsh statement. Josh confirmed the rumors that he and Williams had dated while claiming that after their breakup, things started going downhill for the band. He claimed Hayley Williams released the statement without his permission. He even went on to call Paramore a manufactured product of a major label and accuse Williams of being manipulated by her management team. And the remaining bandmates were just riding on the coattails of Haley's ambition. In his blog post, Josh said, Haley's manager would tell the band to be in the lobby of the hotel at a specific time, but he and Haley wouldn't show for hours. We found out that they had been meeting with record label executives all morning without us, which is completely weird after knowing that this wasn't just a solo artist, but we were a band. Before we move ahead, if you're liking this content so far, please consider subscribing and liking this video. Now, let's continue. The band was going through a dark period. After many meetings between Haley, her manager, and the labels, they decided to sign her to Atlantic Records. Josh didn't understand why Haley was the only one signing the contract since they all were told this is a band, but they were also too young to understand all these things. He also claimed that Haley Williams' parents controlled her by saying, Haley's father would constantly threaten to pull the plug of the entire band if we complain about anything suggesting that we were hired guns and Haley was the real artist, but in reality we were also part of the band. We have always been treated as less important than Haley. It's been obvious how her family views things. In an interview, Haley revealed that the friction between her and Josh Farrow came to light during a show at London's Wembley Stadium when he asked her about his worth. Haley said he was trying to figure out if he was going to take legal actions against us to own the name or I don't remember everything he was going to fight for but he ended up not. It's not easy to fight your friend. What I like to believe is that there was a moment when he realized it wasn't worth it. It all got dropped. In multiple interviews and blog posts, Haley has suggested that there were deeper issues at play in Josh Farrow's departure. She has accused him of being manipulative and controlling and has suggested that his behavior contributed to a toxic environment within the band. One of the key points of argument between her and Farrow was the songwriting process. Williams has said that she felt pressure from Josh to write songs in a particular style or on specific topics and that he would sometimes take credit for her work. In a blog post from 2010, Williams wrote, I was so tired of losing respect for myself, it took a lot of self-reflections to realize that I had allowed myself to be a punching bag because I was scared of conflict. Josh has denied these accusations and has suggested that Haley was also responsible for the creative conflicts within the band. In a 2018 interview with Rolling Stone, he said, We were all pushing each other to the best we could be. We all had different opinions on what that looked like, and sometimes those opinions clash, but I don't think anyone was trying to control anyone else. After Josh and Zach left the band, Haley carried the group forward with grace and strength. She continued to create music that resonated with fans. 
Zach Farrow made his comeback to the band's fifth album as a full-fledged member, but we didn't see Josh again on that same lineup. What's your take on Haley Williams and Josh Farrow connection? Tell us in the comment section below. With that being said, it's time to end our today's video. Press the like button and subscribe to our channel for more interesting stuff. Peace out.